New York Congresswoman and progressive superstar, if you want to call her that, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, went viral yesterday. This was after followers noticed that her pronouns were missing from her ex profile. So where did they go? Well, two years ago, she apologized for not having them, claiming, quote, they fell off. What does that mean? Words don't just <laughs> fall. Mm -mm. But there was no apology this go around at a time when many are blaming gender issues for the Democrats' big election defeats last week, including a New York Times op-ed. It's fascinating. You've got to read it. This was a liberal writer who wrote this, nevertheless, that Democratic voters felt betrayed by the Biden administration. Quote, they resent being labeled anti-trans for questioning whether it's right to simply accept what their children say about their gender, especially since those children often suffer from other mental health issues. Tommy, this writer, Pamela, starting <laughs> off with AOC, she has apparently removed she, her pronouns from her <laughs> ex profile. Um, and she oh, also that. asked this, she wanted to ask her people why you voted for her and Trump. Watch. If oh, you boy. voted for Donald Trump and me, or if you voted for Donald Trump and voted Democratic down ballot, I would really love to hear from you. Just tell me what your thought process was. All right. Well, people said, oh, by the way, she has 21 million followers on just Instagram and Twitter combined. So that's I mean, amazing. It's kind of a lot. That's kind yeah. of. Well, also, and if you remember two years ago, she put them up because her progressive followers were like, why don't you have pronouns in your bio? But look, I think the woke tide is over. Americans are tired of yes. this pronoun nonsense, this transgender nonsense. If you look at the best ad that Donald Trump ran during the election cycle, yes. it was Kamala Harris is for they, them. Donald Trump is for you. It was yeah. aired over 15,000 times during NFL games in swing states. People are tired of this effective. nonsense. It was effective. Uh, I love how this is everywhere. Boy, 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 boy. And she actually removed it. Yeah. Told y'all, man, that change of heart. Told you the tide is turning. When that tide turns, it turns. Maybe she can uh, call Elon Musk and go get some steak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe get a couple drinks. Maybe go over to the bar. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Man, I love you guys, man. Let's. Do, I can't wait to jump into this. Vi I couldn't wait to do this video, man. I, I just couldn't, man. But uh, let's go and jump in. Whoa, 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 boy. Shout out to them beautiful pictures around the world, man. One love, baby. One love. And it's time to make America great again. It's time to bring common sense back. Can we make common sense great again? Common sense. It's just that simple. <laughs> oh, man. I, I, I just want to be honest with you. I, I really just wanted to check this video out myself with you guys. I don't, you know, um, just seeing what, what, what he cooked up, man. And the title is AOC abandons wokeness, embraces MAGA after Trump dominates her district. Nature is healing. Let's check this bad boy out, man. Um, but again, we wishing the best in everybody's life. I hope y'all are feeling amazing. Um, you might we, we're doing this video today. You might see this video in the morning tomorrow. So, right. We're recording this tonight. So you guys might see this later on. I don't know when you'll see it, but. Um, when you're watching again, I just want to wish nothing but the best and that you have an amazing start to this upcoming week. It's going to be Monday. So, um, that your week starts off well, you guys. We're wishing the best in everybody's life. We're ending off November on a strong note, you know. And hey, make America great again, whether you like it or not. I feel like it's like things are just ref like I don't know. I get this feeling like things are just have we we really hit the, the restart button. Like we it's things are healing, like things are just changing. I don't know why I feel like that. Man. I'm, I'm I'm looking, I'm in the market, I'm just everywhere right now. I'm like, man. You know? It's like you, you, I don't know, can y'all feel it? Let me know in the comment section, man. But let's jump into this. I ain't gonna waste no more y'all time. Let's see what's going on. What's what Benny then cooked up. She removed them out the bio. I seen it. She, her, yeah. 
Boy, 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 what about those pronouns? What Trump say? An absolute disgrace. An absolute disgrace, y'all. What's up, guys? Your boy Benny. In every great story or sporting event or movie, there's always a turning point where all of the energy shifts towards the good guys. And if we are looking at our own political timeline as a movie, then this is that turning point. USA! USA! This is Donald Trump, the Trump dynasty, with his two sons, Eric and Don, and Robert F. Kennedy. Well, seeing everybody there, man, Vivek, Tulsi, RFK, I mean, just seeing all of them walk in there, man, the, like the Avengers, you feel me? Like, that was a sight to see, and seeing those pictures hit the, um, hit the internet, man, and just break the, completely break the internet, and then seeing them sitting down, you know, with, El it was RFK, Elon Musk, Tulsi, all and then that one picture of them eating McDonald's. <laughs> And they all had that, and then they they caught RFK with that weird look, eating at McDonald's. Oh man, I tell you, these last couple of hours, these these last forty eight hours, man, I tell you, leading the entire twenty five thousand people in Madison Square Garden in a USA 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 chant, right before the uh, champion, heavyweight champion of the world, dumps the fence. Hands Donald Trump the champion. Incredible moment. And then kneels down and praises Trump and vibes with Trump. This is the undisputed world heavyweight champion who shouted out Trump big, after his big, victory. Thank you. I love it, man. But you know what they call what they call me? They call Rick a sellout. Rick, when when we do the Trump dance and we have fun, man, and we spread love, they call us coons. You know, Uncle Tom. No, I'll, oh wait, I can't say that, y'all. Sorry, I cannot say that word. I can't say that word. But um, they call us sellouts. Rick selling Debbie cakes. You know, unbelievable, man. They call me Uncle Tom. They say I do this and that. Uh, the white man. They they pull the the race card. You know. But again, man, I'm glad this all took in place. And, and, and when you actually go back and you do your research and you really see how this thing played out, you really see, you know, how misinformed a lot of people are, man. And that, that's just the truth. When you understand, actually understand the, the Trump, you know, you know Trump's his, his, his background, his, his history, how it was, you know, from a, a long time ago and how he's never changed. And how everybody used to love this man. Everybody, man. And I tell you, we are, we, we, uh, I, I am thankful we got to, we got to campaign for him this year, y'all. I am thankful. I'm grateful. I'm blessed for, for all you guys, man. The family, MAGA, the Keep Climbing family, them beautiful patriots, man. No matter what your skin color is, no matter what your age is, no matter where you're from, you know, no matter what your occupation or what you do for a living is, that we can all come together, man, and just love one another, you know? And that's how it should be, man. Finally here. And it wasn't just... Uh, the heavyweight champion fighter, it was also other fighters up and down the card uh, saying that this moment in American history is justice for Peanut the Squirrel and that Doge is the organization that's going to save the federal government. I, the, the young men getting activated and getting interested in their federal government, in their culture, is going to save culture. This is the greatest existential threat to the machine who has existed on feminine and feline energy, boxing men out, degrading and discouraging men so that they lose focus and lose track of this society and their place in it. Now, you've seen that in multiple hoaxes. You've seen that with the uh, aggressive, obnoxious energy of fraud like AOC. Remember when she didn't have any handcuffs? Yeah. 
But AOC's own uh, electorate seems to be turning on her. AOC's district saw a massive shift to Trump during presidential election. This is very interesting. AOC's home base is seeing red. Far-left Democrat New York Rep Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez constituency swung towards President-elect Trump by one of the largest margins in the entire city. So all those people chanting for President Trump inside of Madison Square Garden at the UFC event, yeah, that is AOC's constituents. In 2020, 77% of AOC's congressional district uh, parts of Bronx and the Queens cast their vote for Joe Biden. Trump snagged just 22% analysis of voting records uh, uh, shows. That yawning 55% gap was cut in half this week with Vice President Kamala Harris securing under 65% of the ballots cast in New York 14 to Trump's 33%, according to the unofficial voting records. So AOC's district is swinging to Trump. The once deep blue city saw roughly a 15 point swing overall towards Trump uh, since 2020. Harris raking in roughly 68% of the votes compared to a, a little more than 30% for a Republican nominee. Uh, like the rest of the country, New York saw a big shift rightward on election night. Uh, voters soundly rejected Biden, Harris, AOC, record of inflation, open borders, and progressivism, says New York State GOP spokesman. The left Far left, Firebrand's own outer borough district, notably overlaps with the Bronx neighborhood, actually went Republican. There's a first Republican to hold public office in the borough in nearly two decades. Everyone sees AOC as a darling of the left and coming from dis uh, a district that reflects these politics, said Democrat strategist uh, Jake Delamani. But the part of the borough that she represents is one of the most conservative parts of the Bronx. Uh, he says that she may actually potentially be under threat of losing her seat. A reminder that Donald Trump spent the 2024 campaign for months in New York. He did because of lawfare supported by AOC. He did multiple campaign rallies in the Bronx and in Harlem, went to a barber shop in the Bronx, uh, talked with those guys, didn't get a haircut, but asked for one. Very interesting and uh, great moment in the campaign. So AOC is starting to feel the pressure. The fraudulence of AOC's career is beginning to unwind, and she's starting to realize that just engaging in the step-by-step -step woke progressive political playbook is not going to cut it in her district any longer. So, ladies and gentlemen, AOC has begin begun a uh, subtle evolution in her political career. Subtle changes to AOC's X account that her progressive followers missed. Famously progressive Democrat Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez raised eyebrows by removing her pronouns from her ex account. The move from the squad maker 35 is seen as one of the most liberal members of Congress is seen by some as a sign that the cultural tide is turning with Donald Trump's win. So wait a second, AOC removed her pronouns. Let's go ahead and check. RIP AOC's pronouns 2020 through 2024. So this was AOC's <laughs> this was AOC's account on X before, and here it is now. Has AOC explained what this change might be about? AOC removes her pronouns from bio. AOC next year. Oh no! And when she when she when she switches parties, <laughs> how will we know what to call AOC? Well, now that her pronouns in her bio are gone, says Riley Gaines. <laughs> AOC uh, took the pronouns out of her bio. We'll continue to refer to her as dip shit. Oh, well, there you go. All right. No more pronouns for AOC. Also, representative to Congresswoman. The election killed the woke era. This is what many are saying, that wokeness is now officially dead. AOC, as one of the um, you know typhoid Mary contagion points of wokeness, uh, now admitting total defeat here. Uh, the occasional cortex, AOC, why did you remove your pronouns? How are we supposed to know your sex and gender now? Hmm. That's uh, amazing. Look at that. This is, I mean, and these tweets are doing huge numbers. This is seen by nearly 10 million people from libs of TikTok. Uh, 9.2 thousand reposts, 84,000 likes. Nature is healing. Holy smokes. Marjorie Taylor Greene, AOC needs to explain herself. After shoving gender lies and insane ideology down people's throats for years, why has she removed her pronouns? Well, because AOC, just like everybody else in politics, is recognizing that this garbage doesn't work. The American people reject it. 
They have rejected hyper extremism, wokeism, and far left Marxist ideology. Even though AOC, AOC uh, has regularly uh, said that she's, um, you know, a huge fan of pronouns. This Sorry is about that. Ago. They used to be on there. Let me go in and check. Please add pronouns. And see if I can add them. Profile. Sorry about that. They used to be there. I guess they fell off, but I'll put them on right now. Oh, there you go. Done. Thank you for pointing out, says AOC, two years ago, when her party had power. How transactional? How unbelievably fake? Why does it surprise anybody that somebody who would pull this stunt would be so fake? Remember, she was just yelling into an empty parking lot. There was nothing on the other side of this fence. She was yelling into an empty parking lot. AOC now taking to bashing Kamala Harris. AOC removing the pronouns from her bio Woo! is a major vibe shift. Yes. Yes, that's exactly, exactly correct. AOC is bashing Kamala Harris. Hold on. The question is, do you buy the argument that woke loses elections? Like saying Latinx. I really don't like fake people and they're sick and tired of fake politicians. And so what I actually think is worse is saying something you don't believe. And so if during the entire time in campaign season, you're saying that you're down with trans people or like the LGBT community, and then you lose an election, and then the next day you say all that stuff was wrong. I actually think what people are more upset about is someone was doing something they didn't believe and just saying something. Like if you actually weren't about that life. Yeah, her whole campaign was fake and fraudulent. We know AOC, thank you for telling us. Yeah. And again, she had a viral clip of saying, I know what they're saying. I'm in these rooms. I, I know what the people, what the top Democrats are saying. And they want the whole, if Joe Biden has to step down, and this is before he stepped down, she said, they want to remove the whole ticket. They do not want Kamala running on the ticket. Y'all seen the viral clip. Everybody's seen the viral clip. You know, <sighs> time to go back to the bar. Light on the ice. Light on that fucking ice. Why did you campaign as though you were? <laughs> AOC down bad, going after Kamala Harris and asking people what podcasts they listen to. Uh oh, AOC is building a list of podcasts. Hit list for the federal government. Don't take the bait, boys. Here we go. What podcast do you listen to? Just let me know. Podcasts are you listening to? Which accounts are you subscribing to? Um, I'm interested, like genuinely. Let me know which ones specifically, which accounts, which podcasts, etc. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is a uh, fascinating time. AOC removing her pronouns. You know, you know that AOC has been flirting big time with Elon Musk. Elon Musk. Uh, regularly making regularly hitting on aoc on the <laughs> x platform could this potentially be a cultural moment you know is this what we act is this is this what america really needs to see is aoc and elon musk finally gonna hook up <laughs> we don't know we're not sure she's definitely maga curious after dems lost the election by relying on the mainstream media to brainwash american aoc asked what podcasts do trump people listen to Meanwhile, John Fetterman is saying that Donald Trump's doing God tier level trolling to own the libs in perpetuity. AOC is just reading the tea leaves. She's a politician after all, and she knows that the cultural moment for the left is over. And that is the number one power vector that the left counted on being able to affect culture, being able to be the cool kids. And now Donald Trump and conservatives are culture and are the people who are creating culture. The left is totally atrophied. Every one of their celebrities, every one of their movie stars, every Taylor Swift, it did nothing. It actually hurt Kamala Harris. We're in charge of culture now. And AOC is losing her pronouns. AOC lost them pronouns, boy. And it's funny that he brought up the Elon Musk situation, man. We all know about that. But uh, yeah. She said, Trump voters, what podcast? What are you what are y'all? Who are y'all watching? Who are y'all tuned in? Yeah, AOC, come on over, huh? Yeah.
The Patriots say AOC, you're fired. AOC, you're fired. And remember, light on the ice. I love y'all, and I will catch you beautiful people in the next one, man. Peace and love, y'all.